Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody, and yeah. uh, oh boy. I'm excited. This so, will be fun. We're on episode two, Turnabout Corner. I mentioned in the last episode, I'll say it again, my older brother Link and I are both in agreement that this is the worst case in the whole Which series. Which is why I'm excited to see how <laughs> bad it is, or if it's, I think it's good. It, you might think it's good. Most people don't have a problem with this case. Maybe it's just but, a weird family then. Okay, I, there are, I have a couple of big problems with this case. Okay. Well, now, we'll, we'll get into we, it. We'll, I will get into it as we go, but I'll basically just say I don't like any of the new characters in <sighs> this case, basically. What a and drag. Al and also, this is like, this is the case that is the first case that it just establishes, yeah, this is not America. This is absolutely Japan. Because oh, the, the... even the first three games, yeah, there's a lot of like, the Korean village is very Japanese. You've got like, they're like, Maya wearing the kimono. America. But even then, it can still be kind of explained away because Korean Village is, like, based on traditions. Like, sure, And sure. it's really, like, old-fashioned. Sure. And such. This case, like, you can't justify it being in America anymore. Okay, Which is okay. kind of dumb. Japan affords Anyways. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. This will be fun. And I? The sun? As long as we draw breath, the wheel of fate turns. Oh, boy. Oh, someone's gonna get hit by a car. Cool. What? Did the magician come back? Whoa, this is crazy! Who's dragging? Spinning big crimes and little crimes together. And when the wheel stops... Wow, this is really good. You die. Those graphics are gorgeous for the DS. Cool opening, yeah. June 15th. Oh, hey, it's my birthday. It's, it's my birthday. birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> 9, 12 a.m. Right in company law offices. Fine why does, why does the terrible case have to take place on my birthday? It's fine. Two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. Okay. My first trial, and I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was screwed. But even when I hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. Whoa. This place is crazy. Here being the legendary Wright and Company law offices. <laughs> what? You got some junk on the walls. Hey, Charlie's things. still here. They're in the back. Yeah, Charlie's still there. And also there's a gigantic picture of Magician Girl. <laughs> and then there's T. Indeed. Tea. Something like that. Okay, Justice. Time to stop trembling. Uh, you must be here for the interview right this way. I don't know who this is. Huh? Oh, shoot. I gotta get a better voice for her. <laughs> Hello there. You found the right place. Welcome. Uh, uh, what's with this girl? Well, now, shall we begin? Begin what? Right. First things first. Any special talents? Uh, talents? Yes, well, you must have at least one. Well, uh, I guess defending? Defending. An unusual talent, but it'll do. With a little jazzing up, of course. Y you think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? Huh? Go ahead, show me. Defend. Just give it all you've got. Don't hold back now. W what are you talking about? I can't just defend here. First lesson. A professional can perform anywhere. Thanks. We want people to be laughing with us. Not at us. Thanks. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. What? What exactly do you think you came here to do? What? Um, defend? No? Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Huh? The Wright and Company Law Offices, right? Oh. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, you're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you've apparently met no fewer than two mistakes. Or made no fewer than two mistakes. Mistakes? But, but I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning! Perhaps you should go read the sign out front again. What's there to read? Look, it says right there. Oh. Why does it say Wright Talent Agency? Welcome to the Wright Talent Agency, where you've always come to the right place. I'm Trucy Wright, 
CEO, I'm a magician. It all came flooding back. The trial, that girl. Truce? Trucy? Trucy, yeah. Hello, sir. Please pick a card. That's right. She's my daughter. Trucy Wright. Here, check out our flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo. Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Huh. I mean, nothing's oh. happened yet. Wait, how is, how is the Mr. Spaghetti, how is the spaghetti magically floating? That's awesome. Okay, Phoenix Wright, 43. Pianist who can't play a lick. Formerly an ace defense attorney of some renown. Trucy Wright, 15. <laughs> okay, so future she's younger than I expected. Future stage magician in training, apparently the daughter of Phoenix Wright. That still doesn't add up. No, it really doesn't. Maybe there was like, maybe the accident like eight years ago, he like found this girl and he's like, I'm adopting you because you've had the worst life. That's possible. That's possible. Uh, should we examine stuff Sure, first? sure. All right. And you. Ah, don't touch Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie? He's been in this office much longer than I have. Daddy's mentor had a great fondness for Mr. Charlie. He's lived here since Daddy was a rookie attorney. Huh. Mr. Charlie. Right. Now I take care of him. I have no idea what voice to give this girl, but it feels I, okay. I don't know either, honestly. I kind of want you to gonna... differentiate from Maya and Pearl, honestly. Yeah. I, I know, but at the same time, I don't want to make her insane if she's really not insanely weird. She's kinda... I mean, she's quirky, she's for sure. She's literally wearing a magician outfit. Yeah. That table doesn't look very sturdy. You've never seen one of these? It's a magician, or it's a magic table. So, like, you make this teapot disappear? So you might think, but that's not it. Before your very eyes, the contents of the pot change! From Earl Grey to Darjeeling. Kinda hard to see the difference, I think. Or taste the difference, for that matter. A strange split box leers at me from the wall. Um, is this one of those boxes for cutting people in half? That's right. This cabinet's used for illusion er, for an illusion called the zigzag. I've seen one on TV, but why is one just sitting here in your office? Oh, it's a little big for me, you see. So I'm using it as furniture. Hats in the top, shirts in the middle, and pants down below. I think it's a nice touch, don't you? It's not exactly what I call a welcoming decor. Uh, spaghetti. Whoa! That fork is floating. Not. Why do you have a plate of plastic spaghetti here? That's right, that right there is the whole reason I became a magician. Do tell. I saw a plate just like that in a restaurant once. The floating fork looks so real, that's when I knew. Someday, I'd make magic more amazing than the spaghetti. Okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised. There are all sorts of strange paraphernalia sitting on top of the piano. Those are my magician props. Practice, practice, practice. A professional never leaves their weapons far from reach. But you can't play the piano with all the junk on it! Oh, no one plays here anyway. And the neighbors complain. I guess Mr. Wright really can't play. I like her Trucy's theme, though. Yeah. An old sepia-tinted photo of a man in a silk top hat. That's my favorite magician! I want to be just like him someday. Sure, nice. Guess it's good to have a role model. Even if he's gotta be well over a hundred. I thought that was her. How rude! I think that's actually... Oh, over here. All these legal books must be Mr. Wright's leftovers. There's a lot of unrelated books in here, too. One Trick a Day, Magic for Idiots. You'd think a pro magician would aim a bit higher. So, is this really a talent agency? You bet. Daddy started it seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Two people. Does that include you? Trucy Wright, magician extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows. Hey, too. I'm a professional, you know. Er, uh, right. Promise you'll come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the other person our agency represents is Phoenix Wright, piano extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. <laughs> extraordinaire. <laughs> Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say he couldn't play the piano? Our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. 
so you're his, uh, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter? That's right. After Daddy quit law seven years ago, I promised I would keep him fed. So I'm kind of his sugar daddy, get it? No. I'm in charge of this whole office, too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? F 15 Uh, how old is Mr. Wright? Daddy? Oh, he's 33 this year. I'm sure there's a good explanation. I hope. <laughs> um, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Huh? You know about that? No N not the details. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get a chance. Daddy, right. That reminds me, about Mr. Wright, he gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. The, the hospital? Yeah, he's on strict bed rest until he gets better. What? what Okay, which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right. Well, I'll be going out now, and I'll uh, give this showbiz gig some fun, okay? Wait, I'll go with you! June 15th, 9.45 a.m., Hickfield Clinic. That's a lot of books. So, this is Mr. Wright's hospital. Of course you're back! Eh, <laughs> visitors are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, are you the doctor? Uh, yep, Dr. Hickfield's the name. <laughs> Good morning, doctor. Oh, hi there, Trucy. Cute as ever. <laughs> is this daddy's room? Oh, yeah. Except he's gone for a morning checkup. Be back soon. How are you, Miss Trucy? Got any places you'd like examined? <laughs> uh, this guy's a no. lot creepier than he was in the uh. last game. <laughs> Doctor, the nurse was looking for you. Why, but is it the daddy of the cutest little feet in town? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll be off then. <laughs> Later, Trucy. Uh, that guy is really creepy now. <laughs> Wow, what a creepy guy that guy was. <laughs> Good morning. Didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright. Ten million legal books? A swaying, spiraling stack of DVD cases. Oh. The Steel Samurai, the Nickel <laughs> Samurai, the Pink Princess, the Zappy Samurai Electric Bugaboo. <laughs> They're all children's action hero shows. This kid I know keeps sending them to me. Huh. Like a niece or a nephew? Something like that. <laughs> Quite the collection! This kid's parents must have been really generous with their allowance. Funny, Mr. Wright doesn't seem like the type that kids would like. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my reference? Question mark? Yeah. Ah! Daddy! You snuck some grape juice in here again? The doctor said you weren't supposed to drink that in here. Trucy, look at the label. Oh. Deep sea mineral water. That's fine, I guess. I switched the labels. Don't tell Trucy, gay. <laughs> what can I say? The man loves his grape juice. Yeah, and the, the bottle is a little bit um, hazy, so you can't see what's inside. Mr. Wright's bed. It's really messy. Look at how messy this is! You're just hopeless without me, aren't you, Daddy? Yikes! She's attempting to clean up! Look out! <laughs> you got me. What can I say? I was raised in a barn. Try not to let word get out, Apollo, if you don't mind. Yeah, it might ruin your illustrious career p pretending to play the <laughs> piano. <laughs> Poor Phoenix. But also, he's kind of weird. What's that on TV? Looks like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know that one. That's the Sniffling Samurai. His booger flick attack is a big hit with the crowd- uh, with the grade school crowd. I had no idea you liked this kind of stuff, Mr. Wright. Well, what else is there to do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know? Um, yeah, try not buying them. <laughs> Now's the only time I get to watch and write up my reports. Your reports? It's a long story. Like a lot of things, actually. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, that's a shame. So, what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, victim of a hit and run. A hit and... You were hit by a car?! Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air, only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole. You hit a telephone pole with your head?! Are you okay?! 
Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. What? He really is as lucky <laughs> as they say. <laughs> so wow. it's like a car hit him. <laughs> he goes flying for the air. Crunch. Oh, my ankle. Let's <laughs> get hit it with your head. That's kind of dumb, but oh, whatever. <laughs> That's one of the parts of the game that I have less of a problem with, actually. Oh. Every part of this case. There's something that just, well, it just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Wright. And she's so big. Not fat, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, Trucy's still a child. Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> but you'll always be daddy's little baby girl to me, Trucy. Ha <laughs> my foot. I'm not buying it. Oh, something you should know about Trucy. She's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere stage magician. She's a genius. <laughs> Aw, Daddy. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. You could just tell me fiends instead of insinuating them. <laughs> Turns out she's like, I'm a magician, but I actually have a Magatama. <laughs> like, she has all the spiritual powers. <laughs> so, why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Huh? But didn't you come into the office of your own free will anyway? Well, well, yeah, of course. Help! We're in big trouble here at the office! Big! I thought someone was dying! So you don't think this is big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy. How are we going to pay this month's rent and the groceries? Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symbiotic relationship. When one of us falls, the other two must fall. Hey, this isn't exactly a suitable conversation to be having with a 15-year-old kid. In any case, if Apollo here can't help you, you'll have to transfer to a new school. Again. No, I can't. I only just made friends. How could you do this to me? To us! Polly! Huh? What? No, it's my fault! Oh, for a sec, I thought they had the bird in there. I'm like, no. Polly? <laughs> On that note, how about you come work for us? I've got the perfect client for you already lined up. A... Uh, a client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? Alright, I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, Daddy! Hook, line, and sinker! <laughs> now it's time to reel him in. It's official. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. They're so weird! <laughs> They're... Yeah, I don't like how weird Wright is. Yeah. But here's the thing. If he married into the Faye family, period, he's gonna be weird. <laughs> like, yeah, again, this is one of the big complaints people have with this game in general, just how, how Phoenix is how characterized. Phoenix is char yeah. Well, it, I think it's only fine because of who he married. I think it would be weirder you if- You'd have no idea who he married, if okay, anybody. if he- Okay. This child- looks like a fae, in my personal opinion. So if he did get married, didn't get married and adopted, or like, took someone in under his wing, like, it makes sense if he lives with this crazy person why he's also weird. Fair enough. Alright, so who's the client? Ah, uh, yes. Here, take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night I left the office just before 9 o'clock. I was going to that Indochini pasta joint, Alden Ties. I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. The car sent me flying, nicked a telephone pole, and zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the whole story like it was no big deal. <laughs> the car sped off in this direction. So good luck. Huh? You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Whoa! Hold on! I'm a defense attorney, not a detective! Don't worry. Once you found the guy, I intend to sue him. Then you can stick it to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either! <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up. It was just a joke. Huh? Oh, Daddy. Sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know. Even the ones that aren't very funny. Your real client should be stopping by the office any time now. The office? You mean the talent agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. One more thing. Do look into my accident too, would you? I marked the scene of the tragedy on this map. Yeah, okay. They'll probably be connected. It's right in front of this park. 
Should be easy to find. People Park? That's a great name. That's a weird name. So he's going to make me investigate this after all. Map added to the court well, record. Well, investigating should be fine. I'm not loving the voice that I have for Trucy. Trucy, but I don't know what. It's to not do. terrible. Honestly. I don't know what to I can do, do for I can her because, like, she's she. Every game has like the upbeat Genki girl assistant. Yeah, yeah. And they kind of all sound the same, and yeah. they shouldn't. That's fine. I, it's a little different, so it's fine. What's that? Looks strangely familiar. How could you not recognize an attorney's badge? It's been seven years. I've forgotten a lot of things. Bro, you used to show it to every person you would go to! I guess some seven years are longer than others. Wonder how he's been getting by. Well, back we go. Oh boy, yeah. June 15th, 10.05 AM, Wright Talent Agency. Hey, hey, hey! How long you plan on making me wait, eh? Ah, oh, good morning! Hey there, Trucy doll. What? Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? Is he wearing noodles <laughs> on his head? <laughs> or it's just his hair, but he has a noodle bowl on it. All's well that ends well, I guess. Yeah. This is our client? Hey, so this is that Apollo fellow, eh? Oh, um, yes? The name's Apollo. Look at him there, arms all crossed like, ready to fight. Yes, sir. You don't mean that literally, do you? The boss told me what I need, right? Don't let me down now, Apollo. Don't worry about your defense, sir. I'm on it. Defense? Your noodle half cooked? It's too late for defense. My castle's been stormed. My keep's been kept. My noodle stand's been stolen. N noodle? You know Mr. Eldoon from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. And no, of course I don't know him. You new in these parts? He does have noodles on his head. <laughs> because there's a noodle hanging in his eye. That could just be hair strands. Okay, it looks different from his hair. Not really. It's, it looks for, different from his eyebrows, yeah, but also it's kind of like a game. Whatever. <laughs> then you know the best noodles in town, El Dune's noodles. Uh, whose noodles? My noodles. Uh, help me out here, Trucy doll. This is Mr. Guy El Dune, our client. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. El Dune. He's also got a harmonica. <laughs> yeah. Anything for you, Trucy doll. The weirdos. And this is also where the retconning starts getting into play. Retconning? <laughs> we're like, oh, this used to be a thing in the series, but now they changed it, kind uh... of. A little bit. So, you run a noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon. Guy Eldoon's the name, and noodles are my game. The secret's in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half. Just uh, copy Kung Fu Panda. The oh, secret ingredient is nothing. is nothing. Oh, that's... Not that long, really. My family's been noodle men for generations. Got a lot of expectations on my shoulders. Fifteen fathers passing the noodle to fifteen sons. Oh my gosh. That's a pretty old noodle. I am fool that I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked another livelihood. But that didn't turn out so well. Oh, there was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy! <laughs> So, it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Not a mental image I care to linger on. So last year, I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of L. Dune's noodles. Real creative name, just spelling noodle lat backwards as his last name. I wondered why <laughs> it was such a weird name. <laughs> um, so tell me more about L. Dune's noodles. You don't know the genius that are my noodles? I make them so salty, why? They're saltier than salt! Now I really don't want to find out. Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. He frequented my pop's stand back during his attorney's days, too. Yep, him is his assistant. No, no they went to burger bird! joints! That's, that's dumb. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe it was like burgers one night, noodles another night. I, that's kind of what they tried to do in, like future games where it's well, like, oh well sometimes they did hamburgers sometimes they did noodles but like yeah some of the games they went and got noodles no they didn't <laughs> i think i'm thinking of the anime then the anime they went for noodles That's and also for japanese burgers. okay they did in, the ja in the japanese version maya is not obsessed with burgers she's obsessed with ramen which is yeah. why, why this makes ramen, sense ramen is good and it wouldn't and it wouldn't make great. sense for this guy to have a burger stand really <laughs> Yeah, given how they designed them. But <laughs> he has what? just a hamburger hat. Whatever. <laughs> An American I think, flag t-shirt. I, 
this. <laughs> oh, he speaks man, in this accent cool. instead. <laughs> Actually, should I just give him like the yeah, yeah Texas accent? It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yep, him as his assistant. I'm sorry. I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. Wish you could, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a bull bout now. What do you mean? It was stolen. My stand gone. Stolen? Actually, that works way better with the weird accent. It was last night. I was doing my rounds, blowing my whistle. <laughs> I do really like that. I like effect. that too. It's like an ice cream truck spell, but louder. He even gets complaints. <laughs> now you're just trying to butter me up. That sounded more like the blues than a whistle. I closed up my stand for the night and parked by the house. Then this morning, dark and early, it was gone! My keep! My castle! Whoa! Oh, so it, he must have be the one that has, like, noodles on wheels. Okay, yeah. Maybe some bum carted it off? Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. Oh, my noodle bowls were in there, too. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. You know it. Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. Good? Huh? Wait, what exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. <laughs> and the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Of course, I make it so hot and salty, two bowls would kill a man. Then I'd really need defense. Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is where I live. If you drop by, you drop by if you need any info, okay? <laughs> okay, I just want to say, on my first time playing... Okay, this is going to be hilarious. Yeah. My first time playing, I didn't realize there were noodle stands that like were carts. So I'm just, oh. I thought it was like a building. I'm like, how does somebody <laughs> steal a building? Carts in the Eco steal yeah. rivers. <laughs> but you can imagine, I'm like, this yeah. doesn't no, there's, there's noodle carts. Yeah. What about Kung Fu Panda? This was before... I played this before I saw Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda came out in 2008. 2007. This is, this is 2007. You played that the year it came out? Yeah. Oh, that explains a lot. Uh, okay, because, yeah, to me, I was like, yeah, it's a noodle stand on the on wheels. They put it on wheels and you can... Yeah, well, you'll learn that later on, but uh, right now I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> that's, that's funnier, actually. <laughs> Get it back today if you can't, Paulo. I got noodles to make. <laughs> And guns to buy. <laughs> America. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I have an amazing thing I need to show you after this. Oh, um, okay. It's like an anime thing that has to do with guns and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Things have certainly taken a turn for the bizarre. Traffic accidents and noodle stand feeds. Um, actually... Oh, yeah. This is where we start getting into the part of the case where I'm like, this is so stupid. There was something I wanted to ask you about, too, Apollo. Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, uh, listen to the lady's problem now. Don't be cruel. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skullduggery? Well, um... Someone stole a pair of my panties. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone stole her underwear? The this, most, this is part the of most, the reason why I'm like, this case is The awful. most perverted person in existence. It was totally the- Ooh, hey, Trucy, you want to get something to say? Yeah. It's probably that guy. I wondered where that was going, but I was not expecting that. Panties. Just buy new underwear! Um, so they were, um, stolen, your, uh... My panties, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, right. Panties. That's a crying shame. That is Trucy doll. I was alone in the office last night. I had hung I had hung my panties out on the window to dry. Maybe they fell off. When the thief came and took them, my favorite panties. I ran after him. Get those back! I shouted. Wait. Well, that was certainly brave of you. But I lost him. Without those panties, I don't know what I'll do. They're a pair of underwear! Maybe it's like, <laughs> my magic underwear, and then like- It's my Batman shit. underwear. It makes me feel lucky. <laughs> no, that's how she could do her magic. Oh. <laughs> a darn crying shame, yep. Well, at least the scene of the crime's convenient. I'll mark it on your map. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand, or there's an empty bowl in your future, Paulo. <laughs> uh, right. And you help out Trucy Doll here too, you hear? I mean... Okay, I'm totally digging the Southern... It's called, like, it's Texas called go to the store and buy new ones. <laughs> Things have certainly picked up, haven't they? We have no work yesterday, and now we have these three cases. Uh, I 
guess. Let's see where we stand. Not in a courtroom, that's where. Well, the first item on our list... Phoenix Ray, Daddy's hit-and-run accident. We have to find the one who hit him. Who's going to pay us for this again? And the second item... Mr. Eldoon's request to find his stolen stand. For which we stand to gain a bowl of salty noodles. And the last request is mine! To find my stolen panties! That bowl of noodles is looking better and better. <laughs> Let's go, Polly. To the streets! Aren't you enthusiastic? How could I not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me! <sighs> Guess we might as well get started. Just when I thought the series couldn't get any weirder. Oh, you don't even... We've barely even scratched the surface of the rabbit's hole, <laughs> fourth, that is this case. Fourth game, or the this, this case, is... there's a lady that comes by who has, like, three macaws on her shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> the bird, you know the old cat lady? It's the old bird lady. That would be actually really cool. And then it's like, I, I, buddy, I what would you say, Polly Ann? Squawk! How about you, Patrick? Squawk! How about you... Uh, I can't think of another name that starts with P. Uh, Perry. <laughs> Perry. <laughs> Let's see. A hit and run, a stolen stand. Last but not least, stolen pants. But she'd wear, she like would wear a dress that made her look like a peacock. <laughs> of course. That's all the time we have for this episode. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can kind of see why this case is not very great in my mind. No, as I'm, long as like the panties is not the most, it's probably gonna be like the biggest thing. It's kind of well. It's gonna be the biggest thing. To be like the pervert who also stole the wagon, who also hit my dad, stole my panties. And then it's well, like, I mean, of course he's a pervert if he stole panties. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. Next next episode's gonna be better. We're gonna. We're going to actually encounter, like, the one new character that's actually I really like. Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.